guys, it's Jovi and welcome back to my channel. So right now this video is about, I, I didn't even think we would have to make another video about this topic, but okay, all right, here we are. This video is about daytime tea time and Tasha K and the situation that happened between them. Daytime tea time, tried it again, child. Like I don't even understand, but I'm gonna give y'all my opinion and what I think about this. And um, yeah, so before we begin, please like, subscribe, share my YouTube uh, video. Like this video because you're going to like it. If not, just wait to the end and then like it then, all right? And um, follow me on all my social media platforms. I'm Jovi Beauty, so please follow me. Um, I'm Jovi Beauty on everything, okay? And let's just get on with this video. <laughs> So listen y'all, yesterday Daytime Tea Time made a video about Tamar Braxton and her supposed fake apology to her sisters and to the women on The View. You know, basically going in on Tamar, you know, talking about how Tamar is not really uh, sorry for her behavior, a whole bunch of yada yada, yada 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 yada. But see, the video wasn't really about Tamar Braxton. The video was really about her taking shots at Tasha K. As you know, they had a situation with, within their friendship a couple months ago, and you know, where she she basically accused Tasha K of, uh, for the most part, allegedly hacking her page, a whole bunch of stuff that she then turned around and admitted wasn't even true. Like, the video was crazy. Her video, her current video from yesterday. If you haven't seen it, go watch the girl video, because apparently she doing this for attention and views, okay? because I haven't seen anything that Tasha said about her recently to even bring that in. She basically was saying in the video that, you know, she's an enabler. Everybody enables Tamar. She basically was like, she used the name Keisha, but we kind of all know she was talking about Tasha, you know, saying that, you know, uh, this person needs her help. She's such an enabler. She enables people and, you know, people just, you know, take things out on her, but she's not like that no more. And then she brought up the woman's husband about, you know, like her husband know that she's like that, but you know, people, because she was using Tamar as an example. So again, the video is about Tamar Braxton, but it's not about Tamar Braxton. The video was straight shots to Tasha K, which is really shady. You know, really shady, really, you, you're, you're the bigger person, you're the better person, you don't do stuff like that, but you're on the, you're on the YouTube posting videos, taking subliminal shots at her when she hasn't even really spoken about you, when she's about to, well, if she has privately, we don't know anything about that, but like publicly, when she's about to like have her baby, here you go making shots. I don't know if it's just for views. I don't know if it's the cause controversy. I don't know exactly what it is, but it says to me, honestly, that and you're not as good of a person as you try to play yourself out to be, you know, to bring her husband into it. So she was talking about Tamar's boyfriend. I forget David. They tell you, well, Tamar's boyfriend, David, and how he enables her because he don't know. And then he, she used Keisha again as an example, talking about, you know, her friends. This is all, again, this is, well, it's not really alleged because she put it on her page, you know, that, you know, she speak to her friend, or her friend and her ex-friend or whatever, husband know how she is and, you know, have to like manage her and say, you know, but you know how she is and making excuses for their behavior. And I'm like, but you're sitting up on the YouTube honestly you're sitting up on the youtube supposedly better than this person you know handle things better than this person and taking beer shots at this person trying to fix said person you know and but you're here like trying to degrade them and trying to like throw backward shots at them saying you know I'm, I'm gonna throw something at you but I didn't really say your name I didn't really you know talk about you specifically I could be talking about a whole bunch of other people but we all know who she was talking about it got even to the point where Tasha K 
because I I was like I was watching the shit and I was like oh yikes you know but I, I wasn't necessarily gonna make a video until Tasha K posted some shit so I'm like well since y'all just gonna be posting shit you know I'm just gonna make the video about it but like okay so here what Tasha K posted I told y'all basically what she said she was but she was trying to say that Tamar apology isn't real you know but I think she missed the part in her whole spew where she never apologized for, for trying to destroy her friend's career or her supposed friend's career with, with lies and accusations that were unfounded. I don't think the same way you tried to blast her online, you were supposed to clear her name and you didn't. And it makes you sneaky. It makes you look under underhanded. It makes you look like a bad person. It makes you look like you're playing nice, but you're not really nice. You know, people who like to play the role of being, I'm so innocent. I was the victim. I didn't do nothing to you. And you treated me so badly in front of all of these people. You were just out of control. Like... You have to take account, if you want this person to take accountability for their behavior, I just made a live on this stuff, to, on this today, which is very, you know, very funny. But if you want this person to take accountability or whatever for whatever behavior you said that they had, you must as well take accountability for what you did in said situation. Right? Or is that just me? Nonetheless, let's get to what Tasha said. Because, I, again, this made me like, well, you know, since Tasha posted about it, it's what, you know, what, what we going to do. Now, for last night, Tasha posted, um, why knows? No, early this morning, child, on the gram, she posted, why knows? Biggest, lessons I, biggest lesson I've learned this year, run from people with fix-it mentalities. Fix it, Jesus. You write about that, Tasha. Run. I tell mm -mm. you need to fix everything. People like that wanna 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 project. Cause they don't want to deal with what's going on with them. They don't want to deal with their behavior. They don't want the light shine on shine on them. So they want to tell you all about your shit. They want to tell you, they want to point out the fact that you loud and boisterous, but they ain't pointing out that they snakes. You know what I'm saying? They don't point out their sneaky, underhanded shit. But, you know, they need to fix you. Child, this is just bad. But again, this is why I have my real friends and I don't need no friends. <laughs> I don't need no YouTube friends, boy. I don't need no YouTube friends. We cool. We could be associate. We good. But, like, like, what the fuck is this? But, all right. So Tasha wrote, biggest lesson I've learned this year, run from people with fix-it mentalities. Anybody trying to fix you doesn't and doesn't accept you. And when they can't fix you, they play victim. I tried. Mm, that's what she was saying. Now you questioning yourself for befriending a codependent, for befriending a codependent who needs fixing. Then she wrote up here. On top, this is on a um, this is in her community board on uh, the YouTube. Now, who really needs the fixing? You were doing you until they came around. Ooh, now who really need the fixing? You were doing you until they came around. But the manipulation game is on a thousand. But it's all a deflection game because they don't want to fix themselves. Yes, I'm throwing the whole tree right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's manipulating as hell. Like I said, it's people, I know a whole bunch of people like that. And they'll be like, you know, oh, like even me personally. Oh, you know, you're just too direct. You know, they're just, they're upset that, that I just say what it is. Because they would rather I beat around some bush. They're upset that they can't do what I, what I do. They're mad about, you know, me being who I am. So they want to, you know, they want, they need to fix you. They need to, they need to make you tone it down. They need to try to point out all your flaws so they don't have time to look at theirs. You know what I'm saying? It's manipulative. It's ma manipulative as fuck. I literally just made an IG story about this. Uh, well, not story, the live. 
talking about, you know, not dealing with people and not just accepting the shit from people because, you know, I got to be the bigger fucking person. Like being a bigger person allows these people to try to fucking manipulate you and have you questioning your fucking self, have you questioning your sanity because you trying to be a great person and shit fucking going left. Mm -mm. It's shady. I'm going to just say daytime tea time, what you did was shady as hell. You could have kept that whole video about Tasha K. I mean, about Tamar Braxton, because that's who it was supposed to be about. And it wasn't even, she could have, honestly, if she would have took like the first, her first three minutes worth of shots, the video was like 11 or 14 minutes, something like that. Don't hold me. It was like something like that. The first three minutes, two minutes, and talked about Tasha and just move the fuck on with the story or whatever, it'd have been like, all right, you're just being a little petty betty. But she talked about it, talked a little about Tamar, talked more about Tasha uh, and her uh, friendship, allegedly, but that's what it looked like to anybody who has any sort of common sense and is paying attention, okay? You know, talked about Tamar a little bit, talked about Tasha, talked about Tamar husband, talked about Tasha husband, and then rolled it up with talk, like, like, you were supposed to be better than this. You're supposed to be better than this. You're supposed to be a good person in this. Where is that? Can we get that person? That's what we want to see. We don't want to see... We don't want to see Candace being shady as hell. You a Christian girl. Goals be Christian-like. I'm done. And as always, I hope y'all live y'all life like it's golden because there's no other way to live it. Like, please live your best life and stop being just spiteful and evil for no reason because there's no point. For what? When you live in a good life, you don't have time to worry about fucking people. I don't have time to be fucking worrying about other people and making videos about bitches that, that I don't fucking speak to no more. Or that, you know, we have such... I don't got time for them hoes. Live your best life and you'll be good. Bye.